OK, so on this example, ladies and gentlemen, it says the measure of one interior angle is 120 degrees, and that is of a regular polygon. So what we don't know is how many sides this polygon has. That's what they want us to tell. That's what they're asking us, is how many sides does this polygon have? So there's two formulas we talked about. Oh, well, I don't have this one. We have the formula for the measure of one interior angle. And we have a um, formula for the sum of all the interior angles. So if I just have one interior angle, which formula do you think I would want to use, Lauren? Do we know, this, do we know what n is? Right, but so far in this information, do we know what n is? Do we know what the s is, the sum? Hmm. So right now we have the two variables, we don't know either of them. What about this, do we know what n is? Do we know what a is? The measure of one interior angle? Mm -hmm. Which was that? 120. So 120. So since we at least know some information, I'm actually going to want to choose this formula over that one, because we don't know what the sum is. We only know what one interior angle is, but they're asking us to find n. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 120 degrees equals n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So in question number 7, guys, you do the exact same formula, except it would be 156. All right. But now, Dustin, this is where it gets tricky. All right, so now what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is remember how to solve for n when it's in the denominator. So the first thing I need to do is get n off the denominator, and I'll try to get this done before lunch. So you multiply by n on both sides. Okay. When you multiply by n and divide by n, that just divides into 1. So now I have 120 degrees n equals, now I can apply distributive property, 180n minus 360. Right? So the ends, what we like to say sometimes cancel or divide it out to 1. Then I apply distributive property. Now I have an n on both sides, so I need to get the ends on the same side. So I subtract 180 on both sides. And I get negative 60n equals negative 360. And now, just to solve for n, Colin, what would I do to solve for n? Divide by negative 60. So n equals how many sides? Six. Very good.